Hey guys, it's Rotex, one and only, my name is AJ, welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. And the first thing I just want to address is there's been some random sort of jumps in some of my recent-ish videos. I don't know what's going on, thank you ever so much for pointing it out to me, because I didn't know it was happening on my raw footage of like before editing it's not there when i'm in my editing program it's not there and once i render the video and watch the final version of it it's not there but when i've uploaded the video to youtube it then does this sort of skip where it only seems to skip anything between sort of one and ten seconds maybe if that uh but there's no sort of warning for it, there's no sort of tell, there's nothing on my computer saying that I'm dropping frames or, or anything like, weird like that. It's not even like lag or stutter, it just literally, it's like YouTube just cuts out like a really small portion of it. Uh, so I apologise for that, I am looking into it. Uh, I'll keep a close eye on, on this video as well to, to see if it happens on here. Let me know in the comment section below as well because I might miss it and you guys might get it. Maybe only some of you see it. I don't know. Um, I, my timeline seem to line up with you guys when you say it happens at like 17 seconds. It skips for a little bit and then it might skip at 1 minute 25. I know someone done that on a, on a recent video at the Chinese. So I, I appreciate um, you guys sort of letting me know with that. Um, I don't know how to fix it yet, and uh, we should just have to sort of <laughs> wait and, and and see what happens. Really, um, is, is is our only option. So yeah, and if you guys got uh, any ideas on how to fix it, uh, then let me know as well. Maybe I shall try and do some test uploads uh, where I'll upload like the same video in different quality. I'll put it on like unlisted so it doesn't fill all your inbox up and stuff with uh with stuff that you don't want to see um but yeah i'll probably do some some like off-screen tests and uh, and see if i can sort of at least narrow down uh what's causing it but anyway we're going to continue on now uh replace grass with grass grass oops i need a comma there grass and gravel so i want a nice sort of mix of grass and gravel going down eh, maybe a little bit more yeah, I think I'll just do the same command twice. I want to just trim this off a little bit. We don't need it sort of poking out quite this far. Like this. And then I can just sort of peek the, uh, the gravel around here. Like that. Uh, oh yeah. Hang on. Undo replace dirt with grass just so we fix that first and then we can one and two perfect a little bit more a little, little bit more a little bit more that one to that one okay i like that just a nice straight shot down there you can get up onto the dock i just want to dress this area up with some some bushes and trees and then if we've got time today i would really like to uh, do some some boats in the area. I've actually got I think a, a cool idea on how we can do the boats in a way that they're going to be different but isn't going to be like a huge amount of work. Um, actually instead of this being dead straight I think I'm going to just make the, the hedge go in and out by a few blocks. So I'll sort of bring it back here and then I'll bring it back out for a little bit and then back in and then back out just so it's a little bit a little bit different I think I might even double it up as well so before we do the top one I might even bring it down here a little bit um, yeah so what I want to do with the boats because I'd like some boats in the area so it's not just an empty dock but building boats if you guys have, have, have tried to build boats in Minecraft before they can be a bit of a pain um, Especially to get the scale right. If you've got like a huge area and you can build like a cruise ship, then, then boats are pretty easy because you, you don't sort of have to um, worry about getting like like the size and, and the scale right. Uh, and then getting... <clears throat> voice, come back to me. And then getting them all to look a little bit different to each other is even harder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cheat the system a little bit. We always like to do a little cheat and try and, uh, uh, try and make things easier on ourselves here on the channel. So what I want to do is I want to make like a little uh, 
like a base platform and then copy and paste that for where all the boats are going to be and then just edit those boats uh so we, we they all start off with like a very similar um bone meal a very similar sort of uh chassis if you like and then uh and then we customize them we add our own colors oops we add our own colors to it man that messes up a tree if you do that i don't think it does on the newer versions of minecraft but on, on this version it like screw yeah see bang straight away it screws up if you've got some like a flower next to it i'll just put this in here and then we'll bone meal up the grass just so if you peek over the hedge it's not empty plain area this area isn't big enough for us to do anything with um it's quite nice actually for this this little back door to have a it's like a fire exit i imagine so you just sort of come out into this this little overgrown garden area there we go i might mix in another color in here as well another block there's a lot of um there's a lot of sort of nothingness going on just down the sides here maybe like a, a stone brick we go up here we'll just add some more stone brick into probably where the grass is um replace grass with grass and 98 which i think oops that's 987 which i think is stone brick yeah it just mixes another little bit in there i don't think i want to go with any any stairs in there because i think it'll take away the effect from the dock a little bit I don't like that very corner one. So I'll just sort of bring this out a little bit as well. That's the one I didn't like. Okay. Oh, also, totally random. Totally not, like, uh, to do with anything today. Um, but YouTube recommendations you know when youtube just like recommends you a video in your in your feed uh i've been getting for some reason and i don't know why a lot of dick and dom videos now those of you who are american probably have no idea what i'm talking about um but dick and dom here in the uk they used to have they, they were like a, a pair of uh children's comedy duo uh, maybe like if you know ant and deck they were sort of like a, a budget version of ant and deck and i used to watch them all the time they had the, a little show on, on on children's tv called dick and dom dick and dom in the bungalow or something like that anyway for some reason they used to play a game called bogeys which i think probably everybody on earth has uh, has heard of or, or at least played once or a version of for some reason and i don't know why they're um their videos or, or, or like old, really old videos and just parts of like their old TV clips are coming up on my on, on my recommended feed. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I literally haven't watched Dick and Dom, I promise, for <laughs> for years. Like they had like completely almost gone out of my memory. Uh, but yeah, and, and then I watched a couple of, of, of bogey videos, which is why it's now like just constantly on my screen. <laughs> it's just recommending like dick and dom in the yes yeah, dick and dom in the bungalow that's what it was called um and it, yeah it's flooding i don't know if it's like that for everybody else i know like my dad watches a lot of youtube as well and um our feeds can sometimes be quite similar like it'll recommend the same random videos and we're both like huh uh why is that on here we both talk about it but anyway so i think this is i sort of like this it's it's definitely the the, the little hedge here has sectored this area off so you know that's this is to do with the dock now uh i think it's got a nice sort of amount of height the trees are just nice little uh, addition to to close everything up nicely so let's work on some boats so for a boat uh plan that i've sort of got in my head here uh we're gonna have i'm gonna start with a white base and for this one i'm gonna start with some some gray just to give a sort of bit of a modern feel into it and let's try and work out the shape so i don't want nothing too big but we have to have it big enough that we can sort of move about on it we don't want it to be like a, a tiny little boat now i know that we've got um like actual modern boats that we can drive and stuff 
uh, and we've got those in a few places we might even put a couple down here um, at the end but I, I just want to have a couple of minecraft built ones as well so little tip if you don't know you can place a lily pad down on water and then place a block on top of that if you want to to build on top of water it's like a it's a pretty known trick but some people still still don't know it so what i want to do is i want to build like a a cross between a speedboat base and a little a very small like private yacht base okay so something that we can we can then modify so if we maybe not like that i need i need some slabs S boats are probably one of the hardest at least for me things to design i don't know why i find them so hard but i i just find them really tricky to to get the shape right with so if we do something like this and then we do it on the side the same thing i don't know i'll, I'll count them i tell you what, i'll count the blocks out for you once i'm happy with the design but i don't know how many blocks like each one is at the minute if we just back off here i think that's the width that i want the boats to be like a one two three four five six like seven blocks wide i think is as as small as you can really get away with to be able to do a boat that looks nice i think if you go to five blocks it has to be an odd number obviously um if you go to five it gets a little bit thin especially if you want to do like a little interior to it uh, anything bigger than that and it's going to look a little bit out of scale to the dock if we go up in the air i don't know maybe we could get away with it being a little bit longer i no, i think i'm going to go with that i don't want it to stick over the end of the dock here it sort of fits in even to the smallest dock that we've got this is the smallest dock isn't it Oh, no, that's a little bit smaller. That's okay. I think we'll go with that. So, if we go underneath here with some mossy cobble now. Or not. Is it mossy cobble? Mossy stone. Basically cobble. And we start to do a little bit of under design. These are usually quite an easy part of the build to do. Once you get the the shape of it it's like pretty pretty easy if we just stand at the front here have a quick double check yeah see it looks like it's sort of going into the ground here i i think i'll even do the base i very rarely do the bases of these boats but i think i think for this one we will uh, isn't it weird how like that block appears but you can't place it like that <laughs> like like you're close enough for it to know that you want to place a block there but then it's like eh, you're, you're too far away i'm not gonna allow you to do it i think i'm actually gonna keep this one i'm not gonna go over that edge i think i'm gonna keep it like that Ugh. also it's not actually in the water so i don't have to worry about emptying the water out of the boat afterwards like once it's built which is always a pain i always hate that part hmm, i think i could probably drop that back a little bit more it gives a little bit more of a a more speedier looking front okay um so that that should be good as a base i think if we add an oak floor on here I can always swap out the colours using World Edit if I wanted to make like a spruce floor in, in one of them. Yeah, let's just put this down like this. Okay. Uh, let's get some stairs. Uh, no, probably slabs. Maybe both. Let's put slabs like this and then stairs like that just so you get like a one and a half block sort of step to get on here i think i think i'm pretty happy with that as a base so let's grab ourselves a wand and i'm gonna grab this block right here which is as far back as you go and i'll grab this block uh, yeah yeah here and then where am i going to stand if i stand at the dock in the middle of the dock and i copy that i can then come over here for example 
and it should be able to fit in here. Place minus A. Good. In fact, I should probably just stand a block forward. And the reason for that is so the boats aren't all perfectly in line. You get like little ones sort of poking out and stuff. Um, maybe even put one in facing the other direction. It's be a little bit trickier to do to get the distance right. I would say let's have a go here. Uh, no. Rotate 180. Place minus A. I was a one block out. One block out. Undo. I'll put it there instead. Paste. Okay, so we've got three boats. We can do more. We can do like some out in the water and stuff like that. But we've got three identical boats in here. And now what we can do is customize them a little bit. So let's go with this one as a, a little bit of a sort of... Uh, like a, a little home, maybe. So let's get... I want a little bit of a... I want to keep that side, but I don't want it to keep... I don't want to be able to walk around the side on this one. So we're going to add a little nose like this, or a little cabin, I suppose it'd be called. Like that. Then this is going to be where the glass is going to be. We'll use black stained glass. Full blocks as well, because uh, the panes can be a little bit a little bit of a pain. And then we'll put this around here. Maybe, maybe overlap it. I don't like the side overlap. I like the front overlap, but I don't like the side overlap. And then we'll just bring this out. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna Ooh, hiccups. I said I was gonna count out the blocks for you guys. Hang on, hang on. So at the back it's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. And then you go up for two slabs. And then one, two, three, four, five blocks. And then two, two, two. The front's two there. Uh I'm sure you guys can sort of work out the, the bottom layers as well. That's two blocks in. Give it a good look. So you guys can sort of pause the video here if you want to build it along at home. And then I'm sure you can then make up your own tops for it as well. Okay, so something like this. Uh, stairs. I think I could probably get away with some quartz stairs in here as well. Slab. So I want to be able to actually get in here. And I want this to be at a height that we can actually see out of the window. So we're going to add a little bit like this. Maybe a, a stair on there. Yeah, that would work. And then something like that. It's a nice spot to put some lights in. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. It, oops, it'd be cool if I could get this top part a little bit rounder. Maybe if... Maybe if I just take those ones away. Okay, yeah, I like that. And then we'll just drop this part down to stairs as well. Okay, I think I like... Could I set that back by a block as well? So we have it like this instead. Yeah, okay, I like that shape. You get a little bit on the back there. That's starting to look like a boat. Um, for the top here, let's get a lever and um, wall. Um, I think I can place a block there. That shouldn't block anything inside up. I think it's probably about about the height that you'd want okay and then engine on the back we'll do like a we'll do like one engine in the middle of this one so um i don't know something cool can we do like a dispense oh no it's a different sort of block here um i want like a, a block that looks like it has a little bit of function to it a dropper that could work and then yeah and then I could just cover up the oven top with probably a slab even. Like that. Uh, that sort of looks good. That looks like those ones that spurt the water out when they're going along. Like, like um, I suppose like an exhaust for the boat. 
like I think the water comes in through the front and then gets chucked out the back um, but we'll get some uh, iron bars to go on there do I do them into the water? It always looks weird when you do them into the water. I don't think I'm going to do them into the water. I'm going to do it there. I think it gives a, a little bit of a an idea of what we want. And then if we get some sla um, stairs, some nice dark colored stairs, so they really stand out. Sign. On there like that. So we've got some little seats out the back that you can enjoy. Maybe even get some stairs pop these up at the back give a little bit of a sporty feel maybe a slab oops ah. maybe a slab there as well just to give it a bit of a smoother curve i'm pretty happy with that okay so this front area i think this front area what we can do is we can put the oak upper level and then you don't see these blocks here as well okay i like that i think that's cool for our first one so our second one let's make this oh, oh i need to do a interior we could do a quick interior to this can't we all right excellent so i can get in we'll put those there um so in here i need some lights uh stick a glowstone up in there yeah that works or do we put it on the floor and then put a carpet on top i sort of like having a little bit of headroom there uh stair We'll stick with the dark oak. That's the sort of colour that we've we've gone for. We'll put it there. And then I think I want to have. I'll tell you what would work. A modern block that would work that we don't have would be the um would it be the cartograph table. It's like the little workbench, but it's got like a little map and a little globe on it. That would really work as a as a little sort of detailed block block in a boat. That would like really work. Oh, maybe a couple of chests. Oh, that's, no, that's a trap chest. Not that it really matters. Got the chest here. Bookshelf. Have some maps and, 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 and stuff like that. Um, what other blocks would you have that we've got like an interesting looking texture on them? Uh, really hard for me to do interiors. I find them really, really hard. Um, oh yeah, we get some levers maybe a little button oh yeah lever for a steering wheel on there redstone torch is always nice to have as a little bit of sort of indication like ah yes a life thingamajig so <laughs> a life thingamajig we'll have uh one of them on there and maybe one on the outside as well i think that makes sense to have there uh, i just need uh, a couple of normal blocks maybe um sandstone i always like a bit of sandstone in these interiors like that so i'll put a lever on here that you could you drive with and i'll put a lever on there as some sort of i don't know ignition switch or something like that okay so we've got ourselves a boat let's have a go with the next one here so i want to add a little bit of color to this one maybe like a blue mind you blue with the blue's already on the ground let's get a shape first we can always color up uh, color it up afterwards so with this one i think i definitely want a spoiler up on this one so if we can try and get a little spoiler on here first and then it'll sort of we'll be able to see what space we've got left do you want it on that height no i think i want it further back so we're going for a little bit more of a, a sportier look on here okay uh quartz i hit capital there let's get some quartz stairs and some quartz slabs and just try and connect this up a little bit better together so like put a couple of slabs underneath there maybe i'm not a fan of that maybe slabs are a little bit more gentle Ooh, I like that. I like that. So we have that there. We have to have a slab underneath there and on top there. Oh yeah, no, I like that. That's nice. Okay, uh, so we want a little bit more of a sportier feel. So maybe 
we have a, a, an open top or maybe just like a sm very very small um cover on here so let's lift this up and then let's go with the let's go with panes for this one i want to keep the little slime ball that we've got here because that would be quite cool to to keep nope i think oops fell it fell into water we'll do it like that that looks a little bit of a flat front i don't know maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see so i want to have a very small small cover on here can i round those no that looks weird maybe like that yeah i think that works little sort of small cover on there maybe lift this part up a little bit yeah like that okay i like that and then we can raise up this floor as well oh i got rid of the slime ball like that slab and then um no i might get rid of that one and then let's get the stairs back again let's go with a, a black on this one a little bit more of a contrast we'll go three blocks wide as well again get some signs it's always an oh no we, i'll tell you what because it's three blocks wide we'll do them like this so we'll have like the arms uh, i like the right colors there man they look comfy we'll have that on the front uh, i can't do any arms on that one i'm not going to bother well, let's have a crafting table for this one i don't know why just it's just something a little bit different bookshelf and a juke a note block just some different blocks uh let's put that on there and then a lever i do like the lever for like the little controllers on there okay i think that's pretty good let's go with some iron bars to go around the front of this one. Oh, they connect up to glass panes really whoops uh like that nope now i would really like these to connect up so maybe for this one we'll do this uh, I can't place blocks today. And then we'll put this oak. Like that. So again, a little bit different going on the top there. Uh, they actually look really different even though they're like made out of the same colours. But let's change up the colours here. Let's get a clay. We'll start off with the bottom. Let's make this one... Let's go with red. 159.14. So if I just grab there to there, that should be that should be more than enough. So we want clay. And uh, what am I replacing it with? I'm replacing it with um stone. 48. Replace 48 with 159.14. So that's got some red on the floor. See, that's made it look a million times different. I actually sort of like it like that. Could I change the slabs up to something? What if we change the slabs to black? And really sort of put the, a, a bit more black in here. I don't know, maybe if we do it by hand. And just add some, some strategic places. Like around here. I do like, like a, a real modern feel is always using a little bit of black and white. Oh, I don't like the back. I, I I don't mind the bit that goes around there, but this part, no, 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 no. It was a good a good try. Okay, little table in the middle there would work. A little light coloured slab. Just going down the middle there. One or a three? Oh, I sort of like the one in there. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so, oh, and engines. Let's go with a, a twin engine for this one. And I sort of like the design that we've got over here. So we'll stick a couple of those down. And then we'll get these little slabs to go on top to cover that up. And then let's go with a wall on this one, because we've already used some iron bars at the front. So we'll use a wall. They look like a little bit of a, a bigger engine going on there. Okay, uh, item frame and a slime ball. I like if you if you actually manage to kill a slime on this world, you would actually get um, survivor rings <laughs> as a as a drop. Okay, so we've got a couple of those. Anything else? What about like? Do you reckon we could two tone the bottom of the boat so we have like the front of it like a pink and then the back of it and then and then it sort of goes to the hang on what are the yeah oh yeah okay so let's do let's do that and then this I think that was going to be there. Yeah. I know I've got the little bottom one to do as well, but we'll do that in a minute. That's like a, a four and a one. It's really hard to work out where you like place them when you're trying to mirror something. I always find it really, really hard. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, uh, underneath we need purple. Might take that front block away entirely, actually. And then this one. And then we'll go to this one. And this is going to go all the way back to there. I can't see which one I've changed. Uh, yeah, uh. I can't see. How are, how are you going to... I'll leave it. Who cares? Oh yeah, cool. That's like proper speedy looking. Now that makes it look more, more, more expensive. I think though, guys, we're out of time. Actually been a really successful episode. We've got a nice surround going on here. We've got a couple of boats in. We can keep customizing that, that sort of base platform into a few other different boats, I think, as well. I think it's a cool way to um to get a lot of boat boats built very quickly as well. If you had like a big dockyard you could do that you could do it with like even medieval ships and just start off with like a, a same base for them all and then customize them up from there yeah really cool all right guys if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe and we shall see you in the next episode bye oh <laughs> bye voice died <laughs>